if prime minister narendra modi comes back to power it is most likely that the pm will also have younger professional blood inducted into his cabinet while retaining vast political experience of leaders like home minister amit shah prime minister narendra modi actually told the bureaucracy aapki vacation chalu ho chuki hai magar aapko main homework de raha hu aur us homework ko kindly complete kar liyega so believe it or not the secretaries to the government have already started preparing for the agenda and are in consultation with the joint secretaries to see for the agenda for the next term prime minister narendra modi gave multiple messages to existing council of ministers and to the top bureaucracy he said what has been done in the last 100 days of the government in the past will be done in the first 100 days of his third term there is a distinct possibility that pm modi will take strong political decisions in his next term shah has now taken the challenge to wipe out maoist insurgency in south chatisgarh and plans to free india from left wing extremism in the next 5 years prime minister modi will continue to take tough stand on terrorism and radicalization in the next term with no quarters given either to radicals within or outside the country नमस्कार प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी मेट हिज काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स एंड टॉप ब्यूरोक्रैट्स ऑन मार्च थ्री टू डिस्कस द विकसित भारत डॉक्यूमेंट प्रिपेयर्ड बाय नीति आयोग ड्यूरिंग अ मैराथन सेशन व्हिच इंक्लूडेड अ वन टू वन मीटिंग विद होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह लेटर दैट इवनिंग ऑन दैट डे प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी गेव मल्टीपल मैसेजेस टू एग्जिस्टिंग काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स एंड टू द टॉप ब्यूरोक्रेसी ही वॉज कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट the bjp led nda government coming back to power with a stronger electoral mandate for the third time but reiterated to his ministers that there was no room for complacency or laxity he told the council of ministers that all had to reach out to the masses including those ministers who are from raj sabha top ministers like finance minister nirmala sitaraman and external affairs minister s j shankar were hinted about their domestic political duties apart from their official work and travel abroad the prime minister told the top bureaucracy that while it was vacation for them as he fights the 2024 general elections they have to prepare for a stronger agenda for the first 100 days of the modi government this he said was their homework he said what has been done in the last 100 days of the government in the past will be done in the first 100 days of his third term prime minister narendra modi actually told the bureaucracy aapki vacation chalu ho chuki hai magar aapko main homework de raha hu aur us homework ko kindly complete kar liyega prime minister modi told the secretaries present that he will be reviewing two ministries in a day when he comes back in may 2024 so believe it or not the secretaries to the government have already started preparing for the agenda and are in consultation with the joint secretaries to see for the agenda for the next term while no one can predict electoral results in a society as diverse as india it was quite evident from prime minister narendra modi's interaction that he will overhaul his own pmo bureaucracy with younger blood and the focus will be on governance this could mean that the top mandarins of raisana hill will be changed and the process will start from the pmo with cabinet secretary home secretary foreign secretary director intelligence bureau army chief and navy chief slated to complete their terms in 2024 key diplomatic assignments like the ambassador to us and permanent representatives to un will be also done in modi 3.0 there is a distinct possibility that pm modi will take strong political decisions in his next term during those which may be unsavory in the short term these strong tough political decisions will be aimed at taking india to the next level economically and politically in the world just as the bureaucratic overall is imminent after the elections 
if Prime Minister Narendra Modi comes back to power, it is most likely that the PM will also have younger professional blood inducted into his cabinet while retaining vast political experience of leaders like Home Minister Amit Shah. It was Shah who changed the scenario in the valley by forcefully piloting the removal of Article 370 and Article 35A and by taking on the challenge posed by the Islamic radicals supported by Pakistan in Jammu and Kashmir. Shah has now taken the challenge to wipe out Maoist insurgency in South Chhattisgarh and plans to free India from left-wing extremism in the next five years. Another change that might take place in Modi 3.0 is that the Prime Minister will start spending more time in his office in South Block rather than his local landmark office to ensure that the government is on its toes on the rise in a hill. It was due to coronavirus pandemic that the Prime Minister had restricted his movement to his South Block office as RT-PCR protocols had to be strictly observed for those meeting Prime Minister Narendra Modi. As was evident on March 3 when Prime Minister Modi sat in his office till 11 p.m. in the night, he will continue to excise a rigorous regimen when he comes back in May. This will also ensure that all the ministers come to their offices rather than work from camp offices at home while by uplifting India from extreme poverty through subsidized food and health schemes, Prime Minister Modi has laid the foundation for an aspiring India. He is expected to take strong decisions on implementing his Atmanirur Bharat concept and control the ex exploding population of the country through incentivization. Just as work on unified civil code and implementation of Citizen Amendment Act is in progress, he will look at new ideas to make farming more productive in the future and perhaps look towards providing legislative support to the agriculture community. To make India a $5 trillion economy and number three economic power in the world, Prime Minister Modi will continue to take tough stand on terrorism and radicalization in the next term with no quarters given either to radicals within or outside the country. Modi 3.0 will also have a zero tolerance towards terrorism emanating from Pakistan and on Chinese expansionist plans in South Asia and the Indo-Pacific. While BJP-led, NDA is in pole position to return back to power in May 2024 with opposition largely in disarray. PM Modi is in warp speed political mode, leaving nothing to chance. By adopting a punishing work schedule, PM Modi is also inspiring the Karyakartas on ground not to take the forthcoming elections lightly and to ensure that the BJP roars back to power with maximum number of seats in Lok Sabha. By leading from the front, Prime Minister Modi is also sending a clear message that there is no space for political legards in his next cabinet and work to rule bureaucrats in future. Next level governance and all-round accountability will be the motto of Modi 3.0 and the objective is to make India a developed country by 2047. He has also indicated that all steps will be taken in that direction. Globally, PM Modi will be the senior most leader of the democratic world in May, after May 2024 and of Quad in particular. Faced with paramount leader Xi Jinping of Communist China, authoritarian leadership of Vladimir Putin in Russia, and with ongoing wars in Ukraine and Gaza. Prime Minister Narendra Modi appears to be the best bet for India in a largely unstable world. Thank you.